channel. It's your girl. Net with a double I E. And I'm back at it again with another video. Say with a hey, with a ah with a with another video. It's me and I look homeless. But it's just because of the simple fact that like my skin is in rehab, like and I'm in the process of washing my makeup brushes, so we're just going to be like with me. This is the real me. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the second episode of Tell Nat TV. Tell okay, part two. <laughs> okay, so as usual, what happens is you guys, I ask you guys a topic, I give you guys a topic, and you guys tell me your stories. And we sit here and we discuss. So, today's topic is fake friends. Fake friends. Who have had a fake friend before? I probably still have fake friends, but that's life, right? So let's get into the responses. You don't have to become busy with your friend's boyfriend. It doesn't it doesn't make sense. If I'm seeing someone, my friends should know not to speak to him, even if he approaches. Even if he approaches you, don't speak to him. Because at the end of the day, you're just being the fake one. He's true, but my boys are trashing him. We, we all knew that. But you were to the nae. I want to be his friend. I want to get to know him. What do you mean? Know what? I know him. What do you want to know him for? They claim they didn't have money to come see me in hospital, but it was 30 rand to get there. Cut it out. I'm skipping it. She asked to see my song, and then after I showed her, she stole it and recorded it. I thought we were so close. I'm just bored. I'm just bored. Like, I just feel like there's certain things that I would never do. I wouldn't do that to anyone. That's sick. You have to see it. You have to see it. So you can say, mm, now it's my time to shine. This is my time to shine. Get out the way. Pretty girl, girl, wait, they were, no. There was this guy that I was talking to, and it was the first time I was considering dating out of my race. Then you know, when you're happy to tell your girls, right, to let them know, because you can't keep it to yourself. So I did that, and they were so confused as to why I was dating this person, and why he was dating me, because to them, some races should date each other. Anyway, long story short, they started going for him. And he became distant because he started telling him us dating didn't make sense. So you go and you say, I don't understand why you're dating. First of all, race is an idiotic excuse to say, why are you dating this person? Stop using race and preference as an excuse. Stop it. And then you go and you move to the guy, saying it doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Leave him alone. He knows what he's doing. He's grown. But me plus girl groups, he goes the door. He goes the door. Oh, my mom got tears and then she snitched on me. <laughs> he smashed my girlfriend while she was drunk and then tried to blame her. Okay, so he assaulted her and then decided to say my work as well. She came on to me and joking. Your friend is sick in the head, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say, honestly. Just to be introduced to my boyfriend at the time, and I did. They became close and became best friends. Best friends. Later on, he breaks up with me and, and used school as an excuse. That's school excuse! Nonsense. You've been in school for how long now? You don't use it as an excuse today. Are you joking? Years later, I found out it was because he had feelings for her, and I didn't find out from her. But from someone else, she told. And I couldn't have such energy around. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, everyone kind of has like the same kind of story. I introduced my friend to my guy. Then she went for the guy. Honestly, it's, an, it's nonsense. If I'm seeing someone, if I think I like them, if I'm just seeing them, like just seeing them. I'm seeing where things are going. Even if it's not that deep, you should 
know to step back. Like it's simple. He's brown, I get to know him. Um, no, I'm not saying like I own anyone. I'm not saying anyone is my property, but I think it's just respect. Like if I saw my friend as someone, I'm not even meant to think they're cute. I can think they're cute in my head, but I'm not gonna act on it. And if they approach me, I'm not gonna go for them. Like are you joking? Stop it. I introduced my friend to my other close friends and she left me for them. I think I think it's okay. In that sense, I don't know. I just think if that were to happen to me, I'd be okay with that. Because I feel like at the end of the day, obviously it would hurt, but like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it means that she wasn't really your friend. Like, you're I openly told this girl I don't want to be her friend. She was clingy, always hugging me. Two years later, she still talks about me like I dumped her. I found out she's bisexual. <laughs> Maybe in that time, she just wanted to be your friend. I understand she then found out she's bisexual, which means you kind of say, e, e, mm. Free quick mess. I just don't think you finding out that she was bisexual kind of means anything. I don't know. My best friend slept with my boyfriend. See? While he was still my boy. <laughs> why two of these two people sent in the exact same thing and the second one even says my best friend had sex with my boyfriend and my chills so you invited people to your house i invited you my best friend to my house for you to sleep with my boyfriend i'm joking you can be vibing with this person you could just be seeing them you know how these things go there's not just agreements if someone is involved with another person if your friend is involved with another person do not go for that person Oh, ah. You bitches are too friendly with other bitches, nigga. <laughs> if a bitch introduced me to her, nigga, hi, this is my boyfriend, Brandon. Hi, Brandon, how are you? I'm, I'm looking down. A fake friend once dated my man and later on blamed me for snatching him from her. Stop it. Stop it. Next. My nigga saying she's sexually attracted to him. Rubbish. There's no bigger rubbish like that. There's no bigger rubbish like that. Had an affair with my boyfriend again. 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 She's not for real, she for fake. <laughs> you cannot be for real. Oh my god, you for real. No, you for fake. That's some bullshit. Scary. This girl in uni basically used me for my food, clothes, anything. So she would come over when she needs something. That's not your friend, let's begin with. To just say, let's just be clear with each other, that's not your friend her boyfriend's friend play me even though she knew so here your friend did not go for your boyfriend but you hooked her up with your boyfriend's friend fine cool you guys are not going to double date that's cute that's fine but now this guy is now jamming your friend and you keep crying you're like mm. i wouldn't know a thing so this sorry girl pretended to be my friend for two years all the while she was dating my ex and i didn't know i only found out she was I only found out when she brought him to our upper six dance and she ignored me the whole night only to text me the next day and say <laughs> Hey y'all come look at this Your boobs look so amazing Love my life okay. My only my only comment was check it out Right the door Then leave <laughs> this lockdown i was getting closer to a new friend he genuinely was so nice we met via a mutual friend and you know what niggas you never know if they're just being nice they're trying to make it true um anyway so he made it clear that he has no sneaky intentions weasley little liar dude even telling me his girl problems asking for advice etc that's what they would do hmm? anyway <laughs> little did i know he was just setting me up to steal money from me. First, it was a time. Borrowing money because he was stranded and he had reached his card limit. And he sent a fake bank notification. Guys, he's a scammer. A scammer. And he paid me back 
but he was he made a mistake with the transaction and sent more so i needed to send the extra back all this time i'm thinking my friend car so even though it sounds dodgy surely not like you're in your head you're thinking this guy never this is me this is my homeboy this stupid boy ran away with 700 rand plus airtime 700 rand 700 Seven zero zero point zero zero. Man, in my head, in my head, I can't even bring myself to ask someone like for seven hundred rand. Air time, fine. It was an emergency need to call someone. Seven hundred rand. You were bored, and then you find a way to Photoshop Lightroom, photocopy. A bank notification? Are you joking? You are going straight to hell. The door. Where I come from, people like that go to hell. That's all I know. But okay, guys, that's the end of the video. I look crazy. I went. Okay. Anyway, it's fine. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for all your responses, and I hope you're enjoying Town and Tuesdays. I will have more people in the next episodes, and like. You know, just a bunch of stuff. We'll be doing our makeup. We'll be talking. We'll be eating. We'll be crying and laughing and crying and laughing. For the people who shared the last video, I really appreciate it. That's me. Don't be a fake friend. Don't ask people for money. And don't go for your friend's guy. Me and my sausage fingers are here to tell you to stop it. If your friend is seeing someone, leave that someone alone. If your friend is talking to someone, leave that someone alone that's fake rude you could go to hell for it i don't know if that's where you want to be i don't want to be there but i'm just saying if you want to go there you can go mm -hmm. but stop being fake stop being rude stop asking for people's money stop stealing songs money food your time boy gal stop it you can't steal people that, that is me that's with the double i e a a a with the double i and I will see you guys on the next video on Friday. I'll see you guys on Friday. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.